it's been really fast. And before we had the idea for Keep Your City Smiling, it just felt brutal. The Snap Bar is a photo and video experience company. Everything from conferences, marketing activations, weddings, holiday parties, headshots, and beyond. All of that requires people interaction. And when that started to be limited, cancellations poured in. The end of February, beginning of March, we realized maybe just how dire things were going to get for our company. And so I stayed up until about 1 or 2 a.m. one morning, writing out 50 ideas for pivots. Some of them were obviously ridiculous, but most of the serious ones came down to reverse engineering what we were good at in events, what we were good at in the world of photography, video, photo booth activations, and using that same skill set for something new. We first just thought care packages. So we work with a lot of big companies who have remote teams now. It's got to be tough for them. So we thought, let's try to like appeal to this client base that we already have and help them take care of their teams. Then when we started seeing just how many small businesses in Seattle were having to either shut their doors, lay people off, struggling to pay the bills, and that's kind of when it clicked. We thought, OK, care packages, yes. But what if the source was somehow benefiting others. And that's when we came up with this idea, keep your city smiling, like let's keep Seattle smiling. That weekend, my brother went out to any store that was open, bought some handcrafted goods from them, talked to the people across the counter to say like, how's business going for you? How are you even moving product? Do you have a website? That was like very rapid iteration research that we were doing. The response, even that first weekend before it was ever a thing, was pretty well validated. When we announced it to the team, we set two or three people from our technical operations team that would normally be in charge of shipping out photo booths around the country and running our custom experiences to become the sourcing team. We do not guarantee the brand or the particular item, but we do guarantee categories, beverage, food, art, lifestyle, and skincare. We had a vision for what we would like it to be. We had designed a mock box and had come up with a website by this point. The first commitments were like 30 of this item, 50 of this item, here's the price. What we realized every vendor needed was cash. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's what spoke. This whole concept revolves around us being able to pay you as quickly as possible. Not net 30, not net 60, not on consignment. The success that Keep Your City Smiling has had is absolutely motivating. We've sold about 1,300 boxes. It's resulted in like $84,000 or so in sales. But the reality of the situation is that the Snap Bar used to make between $300,000 and $600,000 a month. And that was the team that we built up. We have not made any layoffs yet, but there's a good chance that we have to. I mean, that's the reality of the situation, it, despite the incredible success with the pivot. That's the hardest part for me, is, is wrestling with the elation and joy that our pivot is working, and then the harsh realization that it's still not enough yet. We have a leadership team. We have 18 full-time employees. We would not have been able to launch this pivot without them. There is this temptation, I think, sometimes to kind of throw your arms up and be like, okay, I'm going to hunker down. And if you buy into that, you discount incredible minds. Don't forget to include them in the reinvention of what you have. Yeah.